not actually a dog breed per se, the Maltipu is a popular cross of the Maltese and Poodle, known for his fun-loving and affectionate nature. There are top 10 interesting facts about Maltipu. 1. Origin. Originating in the US, the Maltipu was created to be a smaller and affectionate companion dog. He was bred to be a wonderful pet that would fit into any family's lifestyle. The plan was to develop a dog that was hypoallergenic, low shedding and highly trainable. The original breeders hit their mark. Clever, playful, and affectionate, Malty Poos retain their puppy-like looks and behavior well into their teen years. 2. Temperament. The behavior and temperament of the Malty Poo is friendly, loyal, playful and affectionate. While they may bark at strangers, they are not watchdogs. These are inside dogs and cannot tolerate outdoor conditions for very long. Owners must be prepared to keep their dog in the house, only bringing him or her outside for bathroom needs, walks, exercise and playtime. This breed will not do well if left alone outside for long periods of time. 3. Appearance. The Maltipu is a delightful looking little dog. His head is nicely proportioned with the rest of his body. He has dark, round eyes and short muzzle nicely finished off with a dark nose and dark colored, tight lips. His ears are set high and wide apart, falling forwards when alert or excited, but hanging down to the side when he is relaxed. 4. Exercise. Malty Poos are fond of doing exercise, playing and walking outdoors. However, your pet is mostly an indoor pet and it may not tolerate being outside for extended periods of time. Since it is not a large dog, you need to keep an eye on him when going outside. 5. Hypoallergenic. The combination of a purebred Maltese and Poodle has brought about a wonderful generation of non-shedding and hypoallergenic dogs. However, this does not mean that dog lovers with severe allergies should run out and buy one. All it means is that those who suffer from allergies may not react as badly to him as to others' dogs. Allergy sufferers should spend time with a Maltipu dog before adopting. 6. Around kids. They do very well with children. However since most are very small and fragile they are recommended for older children. With this in mind, younger children can be taught how to properly handle the dog and should be supervised until they are well used to how to hold and carry the Maltipu. 7. Coat. Due to different breeding practices and also with genetics playing a role, there are three different coat possibilities. Soft and silky, thick and curly or wiry and wavy. The wiry coat is the least desirable and is often due to poor breeding practices. 8. Color. Colors vary greatly, although most are not a deep, dark solid color. This is because with first generations, one parent is a Maltese and these are solid white dogs. When a breeding is done, the solid white of one parent will mix with the coloring of the other parent. This most often results in a faded coloring. For example, a dark brown sire paired with a white Maltese will most often produce tan puppies. This fading is also referred to as diluted coats. 9. Names. This dog is also known, less commonly, as the Moodle, Multipu, 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 Maltese Poodle, Maltoodles, Malti Poodle. A lot of these alternatives' names are dropping away as the Maltipu becomes more popular. 10. Weight. While most designer clubs do not have an official weight range, a full-grown Maltipu that is under 5 pounds often has many more health problems than those closer to the 5, 6, 7 or 8 pound range. Most common are health issues, luxating patella and hip dysplasia. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like the video and subscribe to our channel.